Welcome back to War Thunder and welcome aboard my first chat bomber that I cover recently in the kind of mini series that I'm doing, which is about the rather low tier chats. Now, this is the first 8.0 chat that I'm covering, and as I mentioned, it's a chat bomber. It is, in fact, the B57A, and this plane is very similar to the British Canberra. I think they are related technically wise and yeah in this respect well <laughs> uh, the bomb load overall is similar 6,000 pounds for the top bomb load if I'm not mistaken that means you can destroy one and a half uh, bombing points so to speak and then that's it you have to re go back to base and rearm. And that is surprisingly easy thanks to your fantastic air brakes. Now, here we are on Korea, and this is not just this battle, there are more battles. Now, here is the problem. The gameplay is very boring. You can't make, I guess, a really good video reliable by your skill, so to speak. You just fly the straight line, open the bomb bay at the right time, drop the bombs for 1,000 pounders, and then that's it and what then yeah you go back to base but that takes a while and then when you even have kind of rearmed your bombs you don't get much out of it you tried i i just tried to fly this for getting a feel of it to kind of um, broaden my experience amongst the bombers and fighters of higher tiers this is the first one that i played today and yeah, by the time I make this video, the spading process is fully done now. Um, so then I thought to myself, well, what about alternative warfare? Well, this plan has no offensive and or defensive armament, as I just said. However, there is one thing that I try to do ramming to you force. Why that? Well, I have the altitude and the speed to do that. And it's a brilliant idea, right? I kind of deny the enemy to just simply bomb us out by our fighter's time and, well, you know, influence the gameplay in a good way. Here in the background, you can see that a B 57B actually took out an ME 163 in a head on. And, you know, that is a completely different plane in terms of its vers versatility, like also the Canberra B1 Mark VI, um, which is the follow-up bomber for the British. And it's the very same story with the Germans. The first Arado is practically useless and then the C3 can absolutely dominate games. For the Russians, it's Together with the Japanese, a little bit of a different story. There are the R28 and the Tu-14T, and all for the Japanese, the R2Y2, three of them. But they play in a little bit of a different battle rating league. Very balanced it is. So in this situation right here, I actually do another thing, and that is trying to bind enemy fighters. And that is another benefit. I can make them waste their ammunition, waste altitude and speed and so on. The plane is very sluggish but has still some kind of maneuverability. It doesn't like negative G turns too much. It doesn't really have anything going for it at high speeds you lock up. But there is one thing and that is durability. This still has the bomber benefit. And I want to make uh, point that out later on uh, when I add certain other scenes that I will shortly talk about. So you have actually just one benefit to go in, bomb something and then die. And that's not really fun. Uh, really, it's I mean, you have always those nice scenes on YouTube where somebody is just simply, you know, dropping a bomb with a time delay and then blowing somebody up behind him. But that is not very reliable. The next scene that I want to show you is actually, you know, everything in a nutshell and everything that is currently wrong with 8.0. First of all, um, I think 
all but I guess one or two games were full up tiers to 9.0. You know, as an 8.0 chat you kind of expect it. Then it was most of the time always Korea. And I like the map design of Korea but it's a boring layout, let's put it that way. And then there are tier fours. Again, I uh, spoke of it before, try to ram them and wow, directed. He goes into a flat spin. This is one tier four taken out of the match, right? 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 Oh, seriously? I mean, I hit this guy with full force. I would have happily traded my plane, but we both went out of this nearly unharmed. He went into a flat spin and, you know, got out of it again. Yes, he dropped a little bit of altitude, but he still has, you know, some guns to defend himself from pesky fighters. Yeah. Oh, that's that's just a one-time incident? Really? Really? So here is another scene, a perfect attack run for a ram on the tier 4. Uh, yeah, he flies on, my wing is off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, he still flies on, bombs the base, yeah. Another attempt and instant! Well, that was fun and engaging. And he recovers from that, believe it or not. And the next attempt! Boom! Um, well, he goes out of that as well. So, yeah. I'm not convinced if Warthamer's damage model for bombers is realistic at the moment regarding the TU4 which was never a problem in the game so you kind of see the saltiness or hear the saltiness in my commentary and if this is the dominant impression that I have well you know I'm, I'm sorry but it's not fun yes this plane by itself has flaws but the last attempt to become the bullet that you need to ram an enemy bomber and then just doing absolutely no decisive damage to them is just it's 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 wrong it's wrong and every excuse is just wrong as well you can't justify that every attempt that i made on a t4 ended with my death or severe damage to me and no harm to the t4 whatsoever except a bit of drop in altitude for recovering out of the flat spin so this plane serves no real purpose there is no jet bomber that is less diversive than this one i guess or less or having less impact in the game and you know you don't want to ram an il-28 because then you know you have to go more or less in a head-on and as long as the player is not afk you have bad chances he will shoot at you and you can't return fire nor defend yourself yes the speed of this thing is great yes the air brakes are great and you know you have an air start and so on and yeah but still does many other planes have that as well and overall they are more fun this plane is unrewarding it's not fun it has no real decisive impact on the game you know to win it or something like that and i'm, I'm sorry what, what can i tell you about this plane well it suffers from the 8.0 syndrome you get a constant up tier against you know mostly fully upgraded planes which is you know so much fun you always die well facing to your force and dying by them has one benefit and 
this sounds crazy and it is crazy but this is a desperate attempt to see something good in it after you dropped your bombs it just simply takes too long for you to you know just simply return to base and uh, rearm repair and then go out or you know trying to go back to or into the fight it's faster to just go near a tier 4 and suicide on it and then go back into the hangar and play the Q game again and that is faster and more efficient in going through this plane than just simply trying to survive this is so dull so dumb so wrong so boring I have difficulties describing it no wonder you know this plane doesn't see too much popularity the B variant has 50 cals and the option of attaching rockets which makes uh, for a decent bomber hunter and gives it much more um, diversity but here all you can do is die and that is just wrong so the only impact that you have is trying to ram something but if it's a tier 4 it survives it with a very high chance and you know just trying to sacrifice yourself to the enemy fighters in such a way that you waste altitude and speed of theirs and also a lot of ammunition but then is also the frustrating part for enemy fighters if they are not having you know a crazy armament you can soak up quite a substantial amount of damage overall this is not a plane review or something like that it's a little bit of ranting and discussing the problem that i see and you know i mean for that plane i like how it flies but that's about it so you know you can see i'm actually out of words there is i was this is not a sh i guess not a video that is nice to look at or nice listening to but that was just my impressions the plane handles rather sluggish it's just not fun i'm glad that i'm done with the spading process and i guess i will not take this plane out for a random battle anytime soon again so that's it for me and uh, well if you're still there thanks for watching thanks for listening let me know your opinion about this 8.0 bracket high tier chat gameplay spading process and this kind of bomber and you know the low impact it has anyways that's it for me again and well give this video a like if you did subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see each other in the skies of war thunder